Williamsport Area School District Secondary Parents. This short video will help explain the background information of logging into the, into the Parent Portal for the first time. The role of Parent Portal in the district is a site to get live grades and attendance for your child in the district. What you will receive the first week of school from the district is a letter home with a um, access ID and access password for your child in the middle school. The first step of this process is to go to the WASD.org website. That's our main website. Click on students and parents. Click parent portal. When you get to the parent portal background information screen, on the right side you can click on the link or on the uh, icon and it will link you to the parent portal information. When you come to this screen for the first time, you must create an account. Uh, the account creation process is, is very, fairly straightforward. So we click the create an account tab, then to start creating our account, we're gonna add our background information, parent information first. Re-enter my, enter my email, then re-enter my email create a username and then I'm going to create a unique password something that I use that I will remember I will retype this password in and my parent account details are ready to go the next step of the process is to link my student from the letter that you received in the mail so I'm going to type my son's name in there Access ID is the first process. That'll be on the sheet that you got. It's a five character with uh, capitalized letters and numbers. Then there'll be a unique password. And then I can choose my relationship. When I finish this process, I can add additional students so that under one username and password, I will be able to track all of my students in the Williamsport Area School District. I just have the one at the secondary level now, so I'm going to hit enter. You create the password, it'll bring you back out to the start screen. We've already done the create an account. We're ready to sign in. The one step that I skipped on here is you will need to go to your email, click on a link to bring you back to the screen. Since I did that, it now congratulates me that I've created a new verified PowerSchool account. I can add that account information in that we worked on. Username and now password. I have it saved in and I should be able to sign into this account for my son for the very first time. It does it for me. So it gives me the ability to check my, my K-12 Swift reach, making sure that my cell phone number my my home number and my email address is all accurate it allows me to look at grades and attendance for my child in the middle school or the high school and then it allows me to check on uh, scheduling school information and different things like that from this location you can use this that district code is used for the mobile app that we will discuss in another short video along with how to download it on the the apple store or the google play store if you'd like to use this to email a teacher, you can, all these teachers, you can click on the email and send an email to teacher. This first, for parents, this first column is extremely important. It is the Q1 column, that's where grades will start. If I wanna look at a grade, there'll be a number grade here when the school year starts. I'll be able to click on that number grade and be able to see the exact assignment due uh, the score, the percentage, and the grade on that assignment for each and every assignment in my son's grade book for the class that I selected right now, Science 7. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you have additional questions or concerns, you can call the Middle School High School main office, ask to speak to your grade level principal or counselor, and they will help you with this information in more detail. Thank you. Have a good day.